proof that Jesus is God? I'm going to let you decide. I wanted to read you this piece of a sermon from St. John Chrysostom. He's a Catholic saint. And he's talking here about the apostles. He says, How could twelve uneducated men who lived on lakes and rivers and wastelands get the idea for such an immense enterprise as they did? How could men who perhaps had never been in a city or a public square thinking, think of setting out to do battle with the whole world? That they were fearful, timid men, the evangelist makes clear. The evangelist is the one who wrote the Bible. He did not eject the fact or try to hide their weaknesses. Indeed, he turned these into a proof of the truth. What did he say of them? That when Christ was arrested, the others fled, despite all the miracles they had seen. While he, who was the leader of the others, denied him. How then account for the fact that these men, who in Christ's lifetime did not stand up to the attacks of the Jewish leaders, set forth to do battle with the whole world once he was dead? if, as you claim, Christ did not rise and speak to them and rouse their courage. How could they have done that? Did they perhaps say to themselves, what is this? He could not save himself, but he will protect us. He did not help himself. When he was alive, but now that he is dead, he will extend a helping hand to us. In his lifetime, he brought no nation under his banner, but by uttering his name, we will over the whole world. Would it not be wholly irrational even to think such thoughts, much less to act on them? It is evident then that if they had not seen him risen and had proof of his power, they would not have risked so much. So, I thought you'd be interested, and at least it's something to think about. Thank you.